Lilith has finally released the new details about the two new commanders, and they've done some reskins of some existing commanders. Today, I'm going to give you my take on these new commanders and what I think of these reskins. I think you guys are going to be interested in this. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms gameplay episode from your very own Shappy Gaming. Today, we are going to be talking about the two new commanders that Lilith finally gave us the skins for, as well as four commanders that we love that they have reskinned. And I have some opinions on the reskins, but let's start with our first brand new Archer Field Commander, and that is Shashar Aldur. Hopefully, I pronounced that properly. Let me know in the comment section below. But this is the Field Commander, and if you want to know all about the skills, check out the other video on the top right side of your screen now. But in terms of aesthetics, I actually think she looks pretty good. Like compared to some of the other in-game characters that we have here, let's pull up the game for you guys. She looks pretty good. We have Cleo right there. We have Matilda right there. Realistically though, I actually think she looks a lot like Queen Tamar. So let's take a look real quick. You've got her, the new commander, right? She's got the little beads on her dress. And then you've got Queen Tamar. I think they look pretty similar. Now, this commander I'm expecting is probably going to be part of one of the Arab civilizations, which is awesome because there really have not been a lot of commanders there since like Mehmed and Osman um, and Tariq. So honestly, I think this is a good choice. I'm really excited to see how she actually shakes out in the game. Her healing effects are going to be interesting. I, I, I'm kind of curious to see how it all shakes out. But overall, I think she looks great. I love the styling. It's very Rise of Kingdoms-esque. I've actually been trying to see if I could recreate some of this styling in one of these AI bots. I can't seem to do it. Let me know if you guys can in the comment section. But it's been a struggle. But for the most part, I think she looks pretty good. So I'm excited. Now for our next new commander, we have, I'm probably going to butcher this, Choi Yeong. So he is the Archer Garrison commander. And... There are a couple things I love about this commander. First, this man's chest is huge. He looks huge. But that does mean that maybe he'll be a great garrison commander. I don't know. We've had some healing garrisons before with Zeno. And personally, I'm kind of excited about this guy. I think he'll be good. The question is, is an archer garrison really going to be the best garrison in the game? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but in terms of styling, this guy looks awesome. He looks super angry which I kind of love. Um, also, is he wearing Yeezy slides? Like, look at those shoes real quick. I, I'm gonna pop up a picture for you guys on here. He looks like he's wearing some Yeezys. I don't know, that's just my take. But what's interesting is he may actually be wearing the normal equipment uh, shoes that you can get. So let's come in here real quick. I, I'm just gonna test this out real quick if we go over here. I think he's wearing the green shoes. Yeah. He totally looks like he's wearing the Boots of Reverence. Look at that. Look at that. Tell me they're not the same. Let me know, comment section. I think he's wearing the Boots of Reverence or some Yeezy Slides. I don't know. He looks pretty good. I'm excited about him. I think he looks great. Um, overall, the styling's pretty good. And he's got the... Look at that comment. Why are you retreating? Who is this guy? Realistically, he's going to be a garrison commander. So he's just going to be holding, holding the line. But I'm kind of excited about him. I think it's cool that we finally got his name. I think it's cool that we finally got the previous commander's name. But now we have to talk about the old commanders that are getting reskinned. Because, whew. okay guys, just, just hold your breath with me for a second. First two are going to be Ethelfled and Minamoto. And and okay, so so, so let's, let's, let's talk about this. First off, Ethelfled. They kept her mostly the same, right? The face looks pretty much the same, but there's one big change that kills me. They took away her heels. Why? Why? Sarka gets heels. Why can't Ethelfled have heels? This feels unfair. Uh, they also made her a little bit less busty, which I think is fine, but they took away her heels. I, I don't know that that was necessary. Whatever, fine. I actually kind of like the reskin. I think what they've done is they've actually changed the colors a little bit. And what's interesting is if you actually look at the background here, and I don't know that anyone's called this out, 
not only did they reskin her, but they also reskin the background of England. So if you take a look, let me pull up this for you in game, you can see exactly what that looks like. So here is what it looks like today. So let's put this away. You see this background over here? That's, that's what it looks like today. And then if you look over here, you can actually see that they changed what that looks like, which I'm kind of excited about. These backgrounds have been the same kind of since launch, so it's, it's time for some changes there. But Lilith hasn't really explicitly called this out anywhere, so I'm just, just making some observations. Um, she's fine. I, I'm bummed about the heels, but that's just me. I don't know. Let me know. What do you guys think of the new Ethel Flood? The next one's Minamoto. Uh, Minamoto is an OG. To be honest, I always thought he looked kind of badass and a little scary, but now they've changed him, so he's, he's you know, facing forward. What's interesting is they had that cinematic intro, and I actually think that it looks kind of like that now. So let me pull that up, and I'll, I'll play that on the screen for you right now. But I think that he kind of looks like the new cinematic intro, which is which makes sense, right? If they're if they're gonna have him, then they need to make it so he looks right. So let's let's play that for you. So check it out. There's Caesar. There's Richard. There's Sao Sao. Great. Come on. I know Mina's in here. There's Mina. So I think he actually looks more like the cinematic intro Mina, which I think is kind of what they were going for. Personally, it's fine. I don't know. I like the old Mina, but his new changes don't really bother me all that much. But what about some of these other ones, right? Maybe we have some other ones that are really aggravating. Richard. It looks like they did pretty much nothing to him. Like, y'all are saying you're going to reskin him. But this is like one of those photos where you show me and you're like, ha, find the difference between photo one and photo two. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Uh, they, they changed the color of his axe. They changed his pants a little bit and his, and his sword hilt. They made his face look more modern, I guess. I don't know. Richard didn't need a reskin. I thought he looked great. I still think he looks fine. I don't know. If you're going to invest your time in, in reskinning someone, Richard would not be the one. But the last one, they did him so dirty. Alexander the Great looks like he got chatified. That's right. He looks like he became a Chad. You know, Chad and Brad, you know, the frat bros. Yeah. Alex was a nice guy, you know, totally cool. But what is what did they do to my boy? His face? Hold up, hold up. Let's just, let's just, look at that face. Look at that. <laughs> he went from like, I'm Alex to like, bow down to me. I, I don't know. I mean, they didn't change his shield. They changed his chest posture, which I guess Chiskel's gonna love because now his avatar is gonna have him with a massive chest. But what did they do to Alex? I don't like the Alex reskin. Bring back old Alex. Hashtag bring back old Alex. Let me know in the comment section. This has been my reaction to some of the new reskins. I haven't really done a video like this before, so let me know if you guys are enjoying it in the comment section below. Drop a like if you did, and thank you all. Chappy out.